At least you've got a number of good performances and got a couple guys injured that uh, we'll ask about later. But I wanted to start with Anthony Leal coming in off the bench. The threes he gave you, the effort he gave you. Your thoughts on his play today and how impactful it was? I gave him the game ball after the game. I thought he was huge. I mean, 13 points, seven rebounds. I mean, defended his ass off. I mean, he just was a nice carryover because I thought he played well in the Illinois game. Why we elected to bring him in early and play him, and he responded for it, which was kind of nice. Todd, and you're right, Zach. Mike, uh, Khalil returned, and uh, he talked about not only the impact he had in terms of what he did on the floor, but also kind of emotionally for the team. It looked like he was uh, playing hurt a little bit himself, and what that meant in terms of getting over the hump in this game. Well, we needed him back in the worst way. Um, I mean, Games like this, man, is huge for our ball club. You know, he gets 23 and 10 and three blocks. You know, we were missing that, just his length and, and, and ability to block shots. You know, we just didn't have it. And so it's nice having him back, man. I mean, he was huge tonight for our ball club. And you know, we hadn't beaten this team since I've been here. You know, Fran has kind of had his way with his ball club. They, Always a well coached and they get after you, boy. But I just thought we withstood it coming down the home stretch and was able to make the plays to win the game. Zach, in front of Mike. I guess, Mike, forgive the, 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 the two parter. Number one is, is there any update at all on Malik or X? And number two, just kind of what did it say about your group that they watched you guys go down with apparently at least potentially serious injuries, a couple starters, a couple guys that would be. Maybe in crunch time in a tight game, the players they looked to and they still kind of found a way to grit through. Again, I applaud our team, man. You know, I've always said since I've been here, it's the next man up. Uh, I don't know the severity of of X and, and Malik at this point. Um, but both, you know, went out kind of in pain. So, you know, I, I'll know here when I get back there and see what, what the outcome of that is. But makes, you know, we have to wait on him, we have to wait on him, but it's the next guy up. We just got to get the next man ready to play. So guys that have been sitting over there had not played a whole lot, you know, they got to step in and help us win basketball games because that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Mike and Tom. Yeah, Mike, kind of refocusing the team, you know, Xavier screaming on the court, goes out, you know, uh, Malik was emotional. Was it, did you sense them kind of at, at, any, at any point your, your players get distracted because of that? Do you have to refocus them? Or what do you no, say in that moment? You, you, you got to move on. I mean, you know, I don't like seeing any player hurt, um, especially my own players. But the game is still going on. And and you got to get these guys refocused and and deal with what, what they're facing, what's in front of them. And I mean, this was a game that could have gone either way. I mean, but we made, we made defensive stops. I thought the shot that we gave up with two seconds or so on the clock was huge for them. But then we responded back when Gabe hit the three, man, and we never looked back from that point on, which was kind of nice. Tom and Bob. Mike Anthony has been getting more minutes lately, but tonight it seemed like his first night he was really looking for shots when he got it, didn't hesitate one bit. Is, is there, have, have you had conversations with him about sh shooting more when he's out there, or, or what's that been like? Not really. I mean, we take those shots a lot in practice. We practice them. Um, you know, we just got to step up and make them. You know, Mac had a lot of good open looks. Gallo had open looks. You know, we're going to continue to get open looks. We just got to. We just got to have the confidence to make it. I got to help them figure out how to make them. You know, by instilling confidence or something. And stay with it by free throw because we didn't. You know, we made them down the stretch some, but still eight. Free throws is a lot of free throws in a close ball game. Bob Rowe, two left. Mike, uh, Anthony has spent four years looking for a role. Um, what impresses you most about the way he seems to have stayed prepared and has come along these last couple of games? You know, where I come from in the NBA, you call that a true pro. And, you know, Anthony is. is the ultimate teammate, man. I mean, in terms of just hanging in there with me, man. And, you know, I've, I've coached him, and he's come to practice every day and has done what's asked of him. 
and never complained, not once. Been a true, true, true teammate. And guys like that, it's easy to coach. It's easy to throw them in the game and feel good about it because you know what you're going to get based on how he performs in, in practice. And um, He's earned the right to play, and that's why I'm playing. Mike, a little too right, Mason. Coach, you, you've said multiple times when Julio arrived, he had a reputation of not playing hard or being soft. When, when you see him out here tonight, one thing, knowing he can't come out because Malik's out and kind of just gutting this game out, what, what's your reaction to seeing all that? A lot of a lot of Coach Woodson screaming from the very beginning when, when I got him. Um, and I don't mean that in a bad way, it's just, you know, I just tried to push him along with our coaching staff because that first two or three weeks with him was a nightmare in terms of his his energy and his get up and go and you know we've kind of coached him into the playing better and playing with a little more energy. And I thought the night was I mean he has he showed some emotion, man. I mean uh, at one, one time he I hadn't seen that pretty much all year with him, but. It's kind of nice to see. Mason, the front last one. Coach, you guys hold Iowa to 35% from the field tonight. This is a high-powered offense coming in. And you had mentioned after the previous game that the defense was something you were pretty proud of besides the shot making. Did, did you see the kind of continuity with the effort on the defense tonight that you were hoping for? Yeah, I mean, we, we still got to get back better, you know, from a defensive standpoint because I think he got lost a few times. Uh, and that's not the knock on him, man. We, that kid's come a long way since we started with him. And I just got to help him more. I got to help everybody more because it's going to be our defense that carries, carries us the rest of the way and rebounding the ball. And I thought tonight it was a beautiful carryover from the Illinois game because we were pretty good defensively. Thanks, Coach.